Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Goyne. In our today's video, we will talk about the integral calculus. And to be specific, yung mismong focus natin is to solve basic integration problems. Last time kasi may mga videos na tayo, last year, meron na tayong five different videos na merong different topics ng integral calculus. And this year, 2022, this is our second video for basic integration problems. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So ang target ko dito guys is to find the integral of this. And hanggat kaya ko siyang explain ng uh, part by part ay gagawin ko para mas lalo nyo maintindihan how to do this kind of integration. We have here, find the integral of the integral of the quantity 1 over 2x minus 2 over x squared plus 3 over the square root of x dx. Sir, paano pa yung first step dito? So as you can see, um, yung ating three terms ay yung close up by parenthesis tapos meron lang tayo isang dx. So unin yung gagawin dito is to distribute dx or ikulin natin integral ng bawat term. Okay, let's start with this. Para dito sa ating first term, which is 1 over 2x, ang gagawin natin dyan ay, as you can see, diba 1 over 2x yan? Meron tayong constant to 1 half. So ang gagawin natin, we will rewrite it as 1 half, kaya labas natin, integral of, yung matitira dito, 1 over x, and then you have your dx. So guys, finactor out natin yung 1 over 2x, as 1 half and 1 over x para ma-separate natin yung constant. Next, for the second term, we have minus meron tayong constant na 2 minus 2 integral of 1 over x squared and then we have here another dx. And lastly, we have plus 3, integral of 1 over the square root of x dx. So, kung mapansin nyo dito guys, uh, yung ating uh, meron tayong mga denominator. Ito, hindi ko na siya babaguhin. Dito yung placement nga. Kasi meron tayong integral for 1 over x. And then, dito naman, sa ating x squared, i nadalirat siya sa numerator. And ito naman yung ating um, square root of x, gabi natin siya ng exponential form. So, let's start with this one. For the first term, yung integral ng at, kapag ginawa natin yung integral ng ating um, 1 over x, that is ln absolute value of x. So, pwede natin ito gantakusin. This is 1 half times L and absolute value of x. Yun, agad, yun, yun yung integral ng 1 over x dx. And for the second term, eto, meron tayong minus 2, minus 2, tapos, integral of x raised to negative 2 dx. So, hindi pa tayo tapos dito. Plus, 3, integral of x raised to negative 1 half dx. So, bakit po naging x raised to negative 1 half? Ito kasi, originally, yung ating 1 over square root of x natin is the same as 1 over x raised to 1 half. In which, dinala natin sa numerator yung ating denominator na x raised to 1 half. At kapag ganyan na nangyari, magbabago yung sign ng ating exponent. That's why we have here 3 integral of x raised to 1 half, negative 1 half. Now, continue natin. For, for this part and this part, i-apply na natin yung ating power rule. So, continue natin ito. Yung ating 1 half times ln, ln absolute value of x, that is the same as ln absolute value of x over 2. And as for this term, we have negative 2. Ito, by power rule, we have 
times x raised to negative 2 plus 1 over negative 2 plus 1. So that plus 3, this one, we have times x raised to negative 1 half plus 1 over, same, same, natin dito, we have negative 1 half plus 1. And then, since we have the integral, we have 10 plus 10 dito. Now, we will simplify. This is ln absolute value of x over 2. This one is negative 2. Okay? This is negative 2. And then ito ay x raised to negative 1 over negative 1. Kasi negative 1 to. Plus 3 raised to x raised to 1, uh, 3x raised to 1 half, kasi yung negative 1 half natin plus 1 natin is the same as 1 half. Over, ito na yung magiging 1 half. Plus c. Now, itong second term at third term na lang yung problema natin. We will copy the first term which is ln absolute value of x over 2. Ito naman, negative times negative, magiging positive siya. Plus 2 x raised to negative 1. Now guys, a negative 1. Now as you can see guys, since negative 1 na siya, i-direct na natin siya. Gawin natin positive yung kanyang exponent. Since ito yung nasa numerator, dadalhin natin siya sa denominator to make it positive. So this is 2 over x plus, ito naman, yung ating third term, 3 times 1, uh, times 2 to less, times 2. Kasi, yung 1 half natin, we will get the reciprocal of it, and then multiply it by 3. So, this is plus 6. And as for this one, we have here, x raised to 1 half plus c. Actually, guys, pwede lang siya maging sagot, itong mismo ginawa natin dito. So, I can, I will accept this one, we lang sagot natin yan. We have here ln absolute value of x over 2 plus 2 over x plus 6 x raised to 1 half. Pero, if you want to go back sa ating ano, sa ating mismong given dito, pwede naman siya. Ganyan nyo itong ano, ganyan nyo itong radical. Pwede, pwede yan. So, I hope guys na nakuha niyo yung a step by step process natin in getting the integral or indefinite integral of this given problem. So, guys, uh, if you want to watch our playlist to go sa integral calculus, marami tayong video nun. At ilalagay ko sa, siya sa ating description box. And even yung first video na upload natin about integral calculus for the year 2022. So, if you're new to my channel, don't forget like and subscribe but hit the ring bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gorn. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye. See you sa ating next video.